Habit Trails, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who have spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for you. That nightlight is out of Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 and 2. If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above. For Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on not on things on the earth. Woodrow Kroll, uh, in one of his devotionals, writes about habit trails. Habit trails are those markings that we leave behind us as humans. Uh, my sons just recently got their uh, hunter's education course behind them, and we'll be taking the two of them up hunting this next uh, October uh, for their first deer hunt. <clears throat> and one of the things we've been doing it's kind of going up into the hills and looking and seeing some deer trails and where wildlife is. And you always see the trails. The, the trails are there where the creatures habitually walk as they're making their way down towards water or up towards safety or over to over to a good feeding place. They leave trails. And those trails allow you to know what direction they're headed. headed. Um, your trails, your habit trails, tell us the direction you're headed. For example, Woodrow Kroll says that if you show him your checkbook, he can tell you by how you spend your money what things are truly important to you. What does that lead you towards? Or if you show him your calendar, he can show you uh, what things are important because you spend your time on them. Or if he shows you the items that you've accumulated, the detritus around you, uh, he can show by see by that the things that are important to you, because we tend to collect things that are of importance to us. Where do your habit trails lead people? If somebody was to follow in your footsteps, where would it take them? Would it take them towards God or away from God? Would it take them towards things or would it take them towards the kingdom of God? Uh, I think perhaps we need to think through what our habit trails are teaching others about us and about our claimed love and faith in God. Because if we really love God, if I really have faith in God, if I'm really following God, my habit trails will lead to Him. Now, there are some habit trails that I think we can do. One, get into the Word of God and get the Word of God into you. See, first of all, you make your habits and then your habits make you. Uh, decide that the Word of God is a priority. I have my grandma's Bible, and I could show it to you. It is beat up. And it's not beat up because she didn't like it. It was beat up because she read it every day. She dug into it. She she read she read the words off the page. The, the, the sides of the page have got are brown from where uh, her her thumb touched those pages so many times it turned the pages brown. Um, I'm afraid a lot of our Bibles would leave people with uh, the idea that we never touch them. They look pristine. Uh, they shouldn't look pristine. Charles Spurgeon said, Show me a man whose Bible is falling apart, and I'll show you a life that isn't falling apart. We need to get the Word of God into us. We need to get ourselves into the Word of God. We need to know the God of the Word. Uh, I shared about how to be saved on one of the earlier posts right before this one. Read it. It will tell you how to trust Christ as your Lord and Savior. It's a print, it's an article that explains it. Please go up on my Facebook and read it. It's how to be saved. You'll see a, a hand reaching up out of water. Hey, I just want you guys to know I love you, and uh, I, I want uh, us to have a real relationship with God. And that doesn't happen by accident. It happens intentionally. So let's pray. Dear Lord God, I thank you for this day. I, I pray that you'd be with those under the sound of my voice. Let them know how much you love them, God. Draw them into a deep, abiding, rich relationship with you. Lord, you want to meet their needs just as you wanted to meet the needs of Adam and Eve when you walk with them in the cool of the day. In the beginning, you want to walk with my dear brothers and sisters in the cool of the day. You want to have fellowship with them and meet the, the needs of their heart. They You want to be there so they can cast their care upon you. You want to let them know that you watch out over them while they sleep. You want them to remember that you're the great shepherd that's laid down his life for the sheep. Thank you for being there for us and walking with us through our dark valleys. We ask this in your most holy, precious, and powerful name. Amen. 
Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great night.